Hello, welcome to another Friday artwork video. So today in this one, I am going to go through an older deck. We've got one from Invasion, which ties up nicely with the deck musings from this week. I didn't mention this deck in passing because I realised I had it. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through this. I've got the original box and the contents. I've just separated them out here already. Three other decks as well. This is the Spectrum deck. So this is the five colour one. And the other decks were Dismissal, Heavy Duty and Blowout. Comes with a couple of inserts. A bit different from last week's deck which had a, quite a nice booklet. So we've got like a questionnaire for the set generally. Any sort of feedback about the set. And then we have a rather simplified deck sheet. Not quite the booklet like the last one, but these were different for each of the decks. So this one's specific to the Spectrum deck, and what it does is it explains a little bit about the set. So multicolour cards, kicker, split cards, gins, domain cards, the invasion story. So that sort of stuff. And on the other side it actually goes in and gives you the deck list. And also a how to play guide. I'll include a link to my original unboxing for this deck because I did unbox it when I first got hold of it. Additionally with these theme decks from this era you normally got like an additional foil land. So a nice foil forest here. Doesn't form part of the deck. You could put it in the deck, swap it out with one of the other forests in here. And then here we have the 60 card deck. I've just got this running from non lands to lands. I've not really done any extensive reordering of this. It's just, I think the deck's been pretty much untouched since I initially um, did the, the unboxing of it. So, what we're going to do with these if you remember from last week is I'll go through so you can see the full card and we'll just have a look at the deck generally look at how many cards we've got if there's multiple versions of a, a card and then we'll zoom in and I'll just look at I'll bring on to camera at the individual copies of each of the cards so we can see the artwork in all its glory so I've got a rare here, Sabretooth Nishoba. And then we've got some gins here. Zanum gin, there's a couple of those. And you'll notice here that uh, this card here is sort of caring about the most common colour among all permanents. But it, it's a downside and to get around that because you have a five six here for five and a blue um, to try and avoid having the minus two minus two apply the deck itself has a lot more green cards in it and you'll also notice that for anything that's not green that has those downsides. Um, you know, you the deck's trying to keep down on the, the number of permanents in the corresponding colour of the the permanent that has the downside on it for that colour. So Hallam Jin is one of those. And you got Wayfaring Giant, which actually gets buffed for basic land. There's a Kavu Climber. Yeah, there's a couple of those actually. Serpentine Kavu. 
Aquarian Trailblazer. Let's just search out basic lands. And two of those. Voracious Cobra. You can see that's got um, Death Touch on it. And we have two of those. We've got Yevamaya Barbarian, whose artwork is on the deck itself. Protection from Blue. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. And we have a couple of those. We've got Nomadic Elf. So for one and a green, you can add one mana of any colour to your mana pool. So quite, you know, expensive filtering. Got Thorn Scape Apprentice. Multiple copies of those. We've got three. And we have these split cards. So... Spite Malice I've got a salt battery There's a couple of those Wax and Wine Another two off Here's our Fires of Yavimaya. There's a counter spell for creatures in here in the form of Exclude. In fact, we've got a couple of copies of those. And of course, because this is a five color deck, albeit slightly biased more towards, I think, green in terms of the mana base um, we're going to see some interesting range of cards here of course it can uh, pull on the inclusion of you know, various utility which you may not have access to or you won't have access to in uh, a deck with fewer colours. A couple of probes. Also notice the kicker here in a different colour. We've got Global Ruins. Tribal Flames, which scales off the number of basic land types among lands you control. Ordered Migration, which puts tokens into play. There's a Harrow in here. In fact, there's several copies of Harrow, not surprisingly. So, three of those. And a fertile ground. There's three of those. And then we go on to our land base here. So what's interesting with this is, you know, we have cards across various colours. But as you saw there from the cards we did have, you know, there is a lot of green in here. But when we get on to the, the mana base, you're going to see how that you know works in terms of the different types of art we might see. So let's count through here. So these are mountains. We've just got two of those. Swamps. Two swamps. Two islands. I think we're seeing a pattern here. A couple of planes, maybe. Yep. 
and you can see there therefore we just have two out of the four possible pieces of artwork now with forests a lot more forests and um, yeah in a moment when we get up close you'll get to see all four pieces of artwork and you can see basically it repeats itself as we have substantially more forests in here So what I'll do now is I'm going to zoom in and we'll get a really nice close look at the artwork. If you were curious there, that was 14 forests. So we'll do non-land first. Save the best till last. Eh? Let's get in as close as we dare. enough eh? right so here we go actually let's do this the other way thinking about it and that way we won't have multiple pieces of artwork on here I'm trying to remember if we've ever done Cavu Tribal in uh, any of the uh, Commander episodes or not. Escape Apprentice. Like three copies of that. Now moving on to the split cards.
So now let's take a look at the land. Basic lands. Notice there's no utility land in here. Very nice swamps in this particular set. Although here of course you're only seeing two of the four artworks. And I've also noticed with this set, you know, there's definitely, I would say two or three at least pieces of artwork which, which have also then again been reused in cool sets. Let's look at the artwork for the forests, which is the one where we do have all four. That's one of my favourites there. Also particularly like this one. And then the fourth piece of artwork. So there we have it, hopefully you enjoyed that look back through an earlier theme deck. That was the Spectrum one from Invasion. Thanks once again for watching. Bye for now and I will catch you in a future episode.